educational practices. They don't. They just finished that music school and they just consumed by the music school in order to teach. They know the music, they know well, they can play too, they can play good too, but they don't know educational practices. They will run the kid away. They're gonna try to give, give the kid their experience and their experience is already wrong. Because we were, we were in a small city, like I told you before in Argos, every year the piano teacher changed because you know they couldn't come in Argos anymore or you know they got married or whatever. So I had six, seven, eight, ten different teachers. When I started formal training as a classical piano player, I went to Ateneum. And I don't know if you know, Mrs. Manasi was my teacher, a great piano player. And the first thing she says, okay, what's your technique when she saw me playing? I go, I don't know. Okay, because you have, you have a triple technique. I had French, Russian, German, everything was in there. I was crooked. I had to take it over again. I started playing Cherny when I was, when I was 18 years old because they, my previous teacher destroyed me. And everybody was very, very strict. Everybody. All, all, all studying, no play. So you get scared, you get bored, you don't want to study. I mean, you know, you, you, you wait for that hour to, to go to the, to, the, to the music school and you say, oh man, wanna, you know, it's not fun. Kids have to have fun to, 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 see, to, to, to like something. And, uh, and uh, those people, because they're frustrated themselves with, with the music, the way it's done here, they don't really teach the proper way. There are some schools, of course, that they, they teach the proper way. For example, Odi Athenon, they have, uh, they, they have a, a good program. But, but the teachers are really isolated from all the other musics because they have to be really classical musicians and really strict and have, you know, the, they have to lighten up. For me, if, if people lighten up, it's going to be a better education system and, and hence it's going to take us uh, to open ears and open minds and, and the, the people will know good music. They will, have, they, will, they will actually have a choice to listen to it. That's that's you know that's my opinion. It depends on the teacher. That's what I said. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Good teachers is a great weapon. I mean, as as we are now, as we live in society right now, good teachers you make them. So some people, I mean, there are people that they can do it. For example, Mr. Adonio, who I wanted to thank from this podium here, that asked me to to do this and 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 play afterwards. Uh, he's a great teacher. He's a great musician, but he's a great teacher. And he's been trying for 25 years to make that academy. And they sign papers and they talk to committees and blah, 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 blah. Nothing will happen. Nothing will happen. Because it's bad to say this, but it is true. Old people like the things the way it is. They don't like to change when they're 70 years old. They don't like it. There's a few people that like to change. But they don't like changing that much. And that passes on. They find people that they don't want to change it either because they make music or whatever. But they make money or, you know, live that kind of way. And it's easy for them. But who said, you know, who said changing is easy? It's not easy. You have to do a lot of stuff and you have to have uh, troubled times and, and hardships to, to make something. Nobody's going to let you. The first thing when you do something new is like everybody tells you, no, 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 that's not good. The first thing, the first thing, even if it's a musical work, if it's something you change your, your hair, for example. Also, I don't like it like that. And then they, you know, they get used to it in five days and it's all oh, nice, nice. So same thing can happen here. But no, this is, you know, this is where, where money plays usually. Educa education comes second. Because if, if everybody uh, find out what good music is, uh, they would, they would, uh, the, the music industry would have a problem. It's, it's all a chain, see? They would have a problem because they, they wouldn't sell, they, they would have to put actually money to, to bring a big orchestra because the big, the big orchestra would, would sell then. Please. Sure. Of course. Yes. That. Exactly.
Of course, of course. That's the, I. Yeah, that's good. The music world. Yes, I agree. I agree. I agree. I'm not familiar with it. Well, I know, I know that education started in, uh, you know, educating music teachers in in um, in our universities. Uh, nowadays, I mean, we have three departments: Athens, Thessaloniki, get it, four now, four. So, you know, people started to actually uh, see this in a good way, but there's still so few of them. First of all, second of all, there's a bad Greek uh, tradition after you finish. Uh, uh, the university you have to go into the schools, which is actually good uh, to go into the schools because uh, you know the public schools are where kids go, but there's no music education in the schools, except the music schools maybe. Music schools are good. Music schools are a good place. The music schools that exist in Greece, just, it's a, it's a great place. Great musicians come out of them because they interact with music all day, and and the, and the people that are teaching them. They know about music and they know about educational practices. How many there are? I, I don't know. There, there are a lot now. Forty, about forty, about forty. I mean, not not everybody can become a musician, of course, but there are about forty, which there were there were like three or four at some point. So uh, that that's actually a, a good step towards learning music, but still, it's not enough. It's not enough because the music schools are are kids that like music. And they, they get music education all day, proper music education all day, from teachers that they are, uh, uh, you know, educated in educating and educated in music. And then all the other schools, which the, the, you know, it's like the ninety percent of, of the of the country. Uh, you know, they don't. It's it's just it's a fun class. It's not something serious. You know, people have to study math and, and physics. It's not something serious. Uh, because you know they have to uh, get into the university, they have to have uh, an office job. It's not like no oh, musician, what no? That 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 actually that notion still exists. Not not many families have uh, accept music. I mean, you know, there's, uh, if my if my kid wanted to be a musician, I would, I would say no, you know. But there are actually families that say, well, yeah, you do something and then you do your music if you want. Which is they they thinking is they're doing it for the safety of the child because. You know they don't want they don't want it to be poor, for example, which is a really bad thing to being poor, uh, as it you know, or I don't know what you know what what Aunt Maria is gonna say. I don't I don't I don't know. I mean I, I wasn't in that kind of family, so I I don't know what, to, but I've seen it. I've seen it. I, I have I have relatives or or friends, friends of my family, that they consider me a joke. I'm a joke. It doesn't matter that I have a, a master's degree or whatever, but I'm a joke for them. He says, okay, yeah, well, yeah, you, you know, it's a nice hobby. But, you know, they don't, they don't see the...